Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Imagination. This time we're out on the open rail. On today's Imagination. From train stations to railways, a special feature on Railway Manga. Japan leads the world in railways and is also known for its large population of gricers. And in this country, gricerism has evolved into a culture enjoyed by almost everyone. Railway manga is said to have pioneered this change. Today, we'll be exploring the appeal of railway manga. On Creator's Interview, we introduced a man who's an expert on the stop-motion technique of puppet anime, Tomoyasu Murata. Puppet is the case of the puppet. It's a puppet and it's a puppet. Well, first it's time to train your eyes on this week's Ganige topic. Do you like that one, Dominic? That's a pretty good one, Tim. Looks like I better keep my training wheels on. Here come my selection of the latest topics. Keta Hobby 2010. Keta Hobby 2010 is Japan's biggest expo featuring the pop cultures of characters and hobbies. It was held over two days with exhibitions of character merchandise, toys, DVDs and games, sales of garage kits and on-stage events. There was even a cosplay contest with a huge area set aside for filming. A huge success. You Shot 30 Second gets released. You Shot 30 Second is a game where you must defeat the enemy boss who is seeking to cast a spell of destruction that will destroy the world in 30 seconds. A new type of RPG where in-game activities must be performed within 30 seconds. The second installment of this revolutionary game has now been released. You Shot 30 Second brings a fresh dimension of excitement to RPGs through its newly evolved feature of time restrictions. A super futuristic SF fantasy. Project Koda, scheduled to be released on Nintendo DS this autumn, is an action RPG of a mind-blowing worldview. Set in the world of a floating island with two races of people, an amateur hunter named Red Saharan sets out on an adventure to save the world with his robot. It has a very interesting storyline. And with so many talented creators backing the development, I can't help but to feel excited. Well, the summer might be over where you are, but the heat ain't letting up in Tokyo. And Isabel, you've been away, I guess, yes. over the summer. Yes, I have been traveling a little in Japan by train. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's nice because it's nice to see the countryside and the other side. I haven't really traveled that much in Japan. It must be lovely. Yeah, and why I'm talking about this is because of today's theme. Which is? Which is railway manga. Railway manga? Yeah, actually okay. Japan, it's a very big country of railway and there is a lot of train yeah. and there is a lot of fans also and mm -hmm. that's why there is a very big number of railway manga. Okay, I hope my yeah. father's watching this because he's a big train fan. Really? Oh yes. And by reading these manga, mm -hmm. you can enjoy a lot even though if you're not a big fan of railway, you know. Mm -hmm. So have you ever imagined how deep is the railway manga? So by watching this, I'm definitely sure that you will love the railway manga. So first check this out. Japan is currently experiencing a boom in railway manga. Japan is a leader in railway technology, and trains have always been a popular choice of transport in this small and densely populated country. There are roughly 520 train lines across the country, with over 9,000 stations. Towns and cities have thrived around stations, playing a major role in people's lives. The history of train spotters in Japan goes back a long way. During Japan's economic miracle of the 1970s, it became a social phenomenon, as old trains were being decommissioned for new ones. When the last steam locomotive was going to be decommissioned, many fans gathered to say farewell. Years, 
train spotters have come to be nicknamed Tetsu. In recent years, a dramatic change has swept through the world of Tetsu. Fans up to now were predominantly male, but we are now seeing a surge in female fans nicknamed Tetsuko. もともと女の子自体は旅行をするのが好きだっていうのはあったところに持ってきて、まあ、あの旅行好きな人って、まあ、電車も好きなんですよねまあまあ好きなんですよねその人たちがじゃあ自分たちは女の子で鉄,鉄道が好きな鉄子ですっていう人たちがポロポロポロポロと出てきて、まあ、アイドルの中にもポロポロ出てくるようになってそれがこの辺5年ぐらいですかね、まあ、一気に加速した感じですよねものすごい数になりましたよね。Train spotting has evolved from something geeky to a hobby, which everybody can enjoy. And it was railway manga that played the key role. Today, we are going to explore the appeal of railway manga. Today's commentator is a manga critic who is an expert on railway manga, Nobunaga Minami. Why those、uh, railway mangas are so popular now? In the world, the people who are in the world are in the world. In the world, the people who are in the world are in the world. In the world, the people who are in the world are in the world. In the world, the people who are in the world are in the world. In the world, the people who are in the world are in the world. In the world, the people who are in the world are in the world. In the world, the people who are in the world are in the world. In the world, the people who are in the world are in the world. Even though you are not a real、uh, railway fan, can you enjoy reading this manga? そうですね、あのー、僕自身も別にそんなに鉄道特別好きじゃないんですけどやっぱり読んでて面白いっていうのは例えば鉄道そのものにはそんなに興味なくても駅弁の話が出てきたりとかそのいろんな地方地方の,その風景とか観光名所みたいなものが出てきたりとかあとそこに出てくるあの人の面白さみたいな部分でこうやっぱりそこで楽しめるっていうのはありますね。うん Also, I think it's because the trains in Japan are really good. On time, they run fast,、uh, they're clean. In Japan, it's all、yeah. lovely and clean, isn't it? Yeah, it's、isn't、so it? clean. And since when and how did it come out? そうですあの歴史を遡ると結構古くてですねあの戦前にも鉄道漫画の元祖みたいな作品はあるんですよでもまあその人気がこう今みたいに上昇したのはやっぱりその「徹子の旅」の存在がかなりやっぱり大きいでしょうねうん、だし、うん、So we can see the railway manga is so popular I want to figure out the reason why I watch this Railway manga is said to have originated with Kisha Ryoko in 1941 This manga about a train journey was popular at the time, but it never took root as a genre in itself. Since 2000, however, new railway manga are popping up all over the place. For example, a railway travel diary that features Ekiban from around Japan. A story of the Tetsuko sisters traveling 20,000 kilometers by trains in search of their father. A comedy about a railway employee that hosts outrageous events at stations. A human drama about people on local lines. There's a shoujo manga depicting romance among train spotters. Now there's even a new type of railway manga depicting trains and stations as personified characters. These manga were even made into anime, capturing the hearts of many girls. But above all, it was Tetsuko's train journeys in 2002 that began the railway manga craze. It's a non fiction manga written by Nao Kikuchi, who apparently has no interest in railways. It features Hirohiko Yokomi, who is a hardcore train spotter, as a character. The story comically depicts their interactions on railway journeys. It was a huge success, selling over 3 million copies, and was even turned into anime. The manga features journeys on local lines, with stops at every station. 
They even traveled from Tokyo to Kagoshima using only local, non-express lines. The exciting yet tough journeys told from a female perspective made Tetsuko a big success. We asked the chief editor of Monthly Iki magazine about why. <laughs> え、ま、横見さんのような人に引っ張り回されるっていう旅は鉄道旅の漫画面白いかなっていうようなことをまず考えまして、よくわからない一般の視点みたいなのを持ちながらすごいディープな鉄道の世界を紹介していくみたいな